Hello there and welcome back to Cory Loses, where today we are once again continuing our Thrawn's Revenge 3.3 preview playthrough as the Galactic Empire. In the last episode, we showed the Greater Maljud the error of their ways, and they are going to be joining us at the end of the week, which means a nice 500 pop stack from Charos and Kashyyyk. Uh, that, that's going to be very handy. But we've also, I think, popped over to the 75% mark for, yep, we're at 76% for legitimacy, which should mean when the same takeover happens, we are going to get an offer from Captain Wrinkles himself. Construction complete. So we'll just, uh, I think we'll just chill for a little bit here. Of course. I don't think Maldrude is going to use their, their last moments to attack us. And we are going to be able to go for the CSA. I don't know if we're going to be going like up straight through here or if we want to go take like Mintuin, Moncal, and then go north from there. It probably makes most sense to move this fleet down for protection somewhere else and move an active fleet up to the north. So I think that's what we're going to do with, uh, with you. There we go. It's all it's all happening at once. All right. The rebel fools believed they had me beaten. The Empire's victory is at hand. It's time to prepare for our ultimate victory over the rebellion. And then we also got a legitimacy group. Uh, I could never get the reinforcements I requested back during the suppressions. I'm no stranger to asymmetric warfare or escalation of the realities of command, etc. Also, Teradoc joined. There was like so many people wanted to talk to me. I was like, it's just like being a celebrity. But that's a reasonable defense fleet. This is a very reasonable defense fleet. And one of the nice things is that not only do we get... Uh, Construction complete. Not only do we get to move into Dark Empire, but we get to keep Thrawn. Okay, we don't get a discount on it. Let's just do it at Coruscant then. Researching. Uh, you... What was yours? Are you an admin? No, commercial acumen. Okay, yeah, you stay there. We'll use this for Nishir Group. Get Vincolas, which I think is the ATTE that I, I got killed in the Maldrude playthrough. Getting unrest on Kashyyyk. The Wookiees don't like us. Building what else is new? Uh, now Thrawn is... he doesn't need to stay there. But I want to get some spying done. We are... we are pop-capped. Our cap is popped. Oh, because... oh, Jesus. That is... that's a lot. That's probably part of why we're, uh, we're pop-capped. Hmm. Well, let's start upgrading Building some of these. Construction. Beginning construction. Building started. That is really a lot of money. Okay, I don't want four altors. Unfortunately, I only want one of each planet. I don't want the ISDs necessarily. Keep one of the detectors, actually. And I don't want Fourteen of you. I want maybe ten of you. We have been reworking the Galactic Pop Cap uh, for this release. I don't know how much of that was actually in at this point, or is even in in the main build right now. But it'll generally be based more on your uh, starbase structure levels. As well as some other structures you'll be able to build to bump it up. Get you guys down to Jindine. Navigating to coordinates. Awaiting your command. You also down to Jindine. We're on the move. 
Kemp says pop cap isn't normally an issue unless the GM is involved. Well, part of the reworks is making it so that it is a thing you have to take into account more. So it's generally lower per planet. And then there's more input you have to do to, or you will have to do for it. Ooh, shit. On and, on and Chewie, Luke and Lando have all been killed because uh, they conquered Endor. Yikes. It's starting to seem like the Ariato Authority might be the only thing that's going to be left to oppose the the Dark Empire. Uh, right, so we wanted to switch you guys. So you're going up there. The you're coming down here. And we'll want more of those once we can afford it. 689. Construction. Constructing. We may as well Construction. get some of these extra ones built up while we have the time. Construction complete. I don't need your VSDs. I do actually, I want your ground units. Acknowledged. That's going to be super handy. Go to invade Mario. They, they took the bait. They took that as an invitation. I don't know why I never built the hypervelocity gun here. Under but this will make it easier for taking the next one. They never built back up on Austin picks. Kind of surprising too. I don't know if this uh, if this triggered before or after the attack was already sent, so that it might have been dissuaded by this. No. Nope. Okay, this will be this will be easy, and then it'll make it easier to attack them as well. Because they were they made the attack assuming it would just be the structures, but instead it's a Praetor. So have fun with that. Star Destroyer standing by. Dreadnought cruiser ready. Got Corey's flagship. We got Admiral Rocky Road. We have Cube Disc Spike. Star Destroyer reporting in. We have our Spice Addicted Grand Admiral. We have other Cube Disc Spike. Heavy cruiser standing by. Garlic Dread. I had Garlic Dread again for dinner, which I think I said last time that we did the Empire playthrough. And we have Walrus. Okay. Batteries online. Like, I think the CSA has just been so boxed in by us in the New Republic that they've been kind of chomping at the bit to do some damage. This is probably not what they wanted. It's a good fleet that they have, but it's not going to be not better than ours. But if I'm not careful, we could lose some stuff here. This is why we're going to park both cube discs, cube, di cube disc spikes over here. I might actually sell one of the cube disc spikes once we get back to Galactic level as well. And maybe even more of the Greater Mountain units. I mean, that's the upside to Cruel, though. Sure, you have to fight a lot more stuff, but if you manage to integrate a few decent fleets, like... With a, a bit of a reprieve from the trials and tribulations of cruel admiral life. Ready for orders. Die squadron this is among the most that I've ever managed to integrate from anyone, though, so it, it takes some luck. The lasers are our target. Reporting in. Targeting their weapon systems. Ah, uh, the so many missiles. They're going full CSA mode on us. These are all VSD ones, I guess. Yeah, I guess the the two is only in the ship markets. Never know. Attack formation. Reporting. Tie interceptor here after the strike for the Empire. 
Roger that. Heavy cruiser standing by. Okay, they're doing a lot more damage to us than I wanted them to. It's gonna be a lot of alpha damage, but... They'll start losing some of these launchers. I think it makes most sense to go after the VSDs first. Like, rather than trying to... Uh, hit down the tankier Invincibles, I think we'll be able to... Take out the VSDs a bit faster, that'll take down their damage a bit faster, then we only have to worry about the... about the Invincibles. And we got a VSD too against their VSD. But I just need to make sure that those shields don't go... or don't stay up. Alright, if they're all attacking... you and... Like, honestly, this is a really good setup for for their fleet. Like, despite the fact that they're outnumbered considerably, or outpopped considerably. I think it's 209 to basically the full 300. But if I've got a fleet full of missiles, then... Individual large targets really is the way to go. Or is what you hope to be fighting with that. They will be destroyed. It's not going to be enough, but it's still respectable. Okay, we need to make sure we've got these guys not being left too long. And they're putting so much focus on the on the Praetor that it's letting us get away with using power weapons on those smaller ships. So I am grateful for that. Thank you for if we're if we're covering things to be grateful for on today's Canadian Thanksgiving stream. It's them letting our other ships live. I don't know why I keep calling it Canadian Thanksgiving. Like, it's just Thanksgiving, but I'm Canadian. Not like American Thanksgiving has the legal claim to the title of Thanksgiving. actually going to be able to hit that? Okay, those engines we're not going to be able to get to. We might be able to just clear out these. Nice. So one of the invincibles got away there. But until I can scout them out, like... I'm not a huge fan uh, of Latuine separating us there. Uh, hmm. Let's just take advantage of this situation. System control achieved. The time for the Empire's ultimate victory has come. Mobilize the fleets. Jack's already objecting to this. That's one of the things that needs to be sorted out a little bit. All right, but we are in a little thing called Dark Empire. Uh, so I will be doing a... I'm going to complete the Twitch prediction. We had a surprising number of people who thought we wouldn't make it despite starting the stream at 74%, but hey, I, I can't... Uh, I can't change their minds if they have such little faith. 
but yeah, so as we've gone over throughout the campaign, any faction, not any faction, any Imperial faction, like any faction that runs in the legitimacy system is able to reach Dark Empire. Uh, only one Imperial faction can do it per game, but if you are playing like Greater Maldrud, Ariato Authority, you are able to become the faction that forms Dark Empire. It basically allows you to, uh, to have whichever Empire is able to take over still go through the later game content, or that you're playing as you can go through the later game content. Uh, I will be doing a separate video to go more specifically into how it's going to be able to function. Uh, so a lot of what you're going to see as far as this goes is still going to be uh, somewhat unfinished. So don't take too much as like the be all end all in this situation. But oh shit, we already got Jax. That's not supposed to happen. I think it went through a lot of it. I'm not sure why Jax happened there. But oh well. Hopefully we didn't like bypass the the eclipse and everything. I don't think we will have. Uh let's see. I'm gonna try to take Bimisari so we can have the Destination forces all in. Construction complete. Tactical battle imminent. Let's use our our fun Greater Maldru unit, Maldru units, Maldrud units before I sell some of them. We need enough room for the Eclipse, and we need enough room, especially for probe droids. I don't want to sleep on the probe droids. If they die in a, a fun battle instead, then that's even better. I don't know that we necessarily need this many... Uh, this many tenders for what's going to be seven Carricks in the fleet. We'll take them. This is not a particularly high damage fleet. Neither is theirs, though, so I don't know how that's going to work out. We kind of need to make sure that the VSDs and the, uh, the ISDs don't get blasted the way they currently are. We've got tanks fighting fish tanks. Don't, don't do that. You're getting your shields back. You're getting no shields back, but whatever. I mean, some of these frigates are going to be quite powerful still. It is still a Maldrug, just not the not the strike cruiser powerhouse I was looking for. Once this RSD is dead, like at least they don't have that much firepower either. We do need those CR-90s to die. And... This, yeah, this is an IST-1, so that's a lot of ion damage. That's going to be great for taking on these home one types. Detector, I'm going to set on the IST, or on the next home one as well. Because really the Pursuit and the Carex finish this off. Though, really... Hmm. Eric's, I think I want you on that next home one with the shields. I don't want to waste the anti-shield damage, because we have Vindicators that'll be able to do the, the whole damage we're looking for on this. Like most Maldrude fleets, we're not exactly looking at a ton of fighter power. But they actually have less in that category as well. It is three pretty good carriers with the home one types, but 
not the most uh, most carriery of carriers. We have more stuff. Okay, that power to shield should be the the end for them. How are you guys looking? Engines are going to be out on that, but I don't plan to retreat on this one. That's just their ion cannons now. And I'm going to move the pursuit up a little bit more. What are your orders? Understood. Awaiting your command. Take out the ion cannons. Fire. You are almost exclusively ion cannons now. So I'll have to move that to the next one. You're still decently turbo based. Alright, I'm gonna start on this next one. Get those Vindicators in, get this Pursuit in, and Carrix on to the final one. We should have less of a drop in damage. We are gonna lose Asidius, is that what that says? Yeah, Asidius. Emperor Asidius. Ion Cannon is doing some rude things. We've killed enough of this on one types turbo damage that maybe with the fleet tenders, like maybe we're going to be able to negate the damage from the one home one type, especially if it is applying properly on the on the capital ships, which it does seem to be. Doesn't always do it, but Fortunately, we're not going to get another run on the on the missile boost, whatever it's called. Oh, it, it looks like it actually swapped swapped targets. I don't know why all my units are trying so hard to stay alive. A lot of them are just gonna get sold. Okay, and we'll go to the XQ now. Well, is that gonna make it? Yeah, it has to now. All the turbos are up front on you, you're fine. I'm not sure why the Karnor hero spawned, but we might want to look into that. I don't think that's happening in the in the dev build right now. I'm, I'm going to see what the next thing it lets me build is. Uh, to see if it's preemptively gone into Karnor's era. I do want to do at least one more kind of Dark Empire focused campaign, so either an Imperial campaign or starting an Era 4 as the Empire towards the end of Point 3's development to just kind of have a, a more final look at, uh, at what that's going to be like. That I'm surprised that lived, honestly. Thank you, Clam, for subscribing for 23 months. Sub about to reach the terrible twos. That's when it gets uh, sent to daycare. I think. Boom. And I blew him up. Kaboom.
I don't want to risk another another sad crash. But we'll save there before we go into Bimisari. Thank you, Imploding Goat, for the 43-month subscription, saying I'm signing my sub up for preschool. Very appreciated, both of you. Mm. Do we combine some of these defensive fleets from the other factions and move them over? No. I think I think it is. It still makes most sense to leave them where they are the southern border defense. Then I can move our real fleets up up to the CSA. And then it'll be epic. Because we won't have to worry as much about the New Republic or the Ariado Authority attacking from that direction as long as we have those giant things of uh, giant things of appropriated Maldrude units. Thank you, Keel Hall, for the 69 bits as well. Definitely a random number, nothing nothing uh, to which TOS needs to concern themselves about. I don't I don't want your star galleons. And I don't want your star galleons either. I do want your Ray Cruisers though. We have the other Crimson Commands. We're getting closer to being at uh, unit cap parity. 27.15. I'm not sure if the stations actually add top cap in this build. In many ways. We have on Sheik. Much. Building started. Building, Building started. under construction. Constructing. That should get the building under construction. Get the Wookiees liking me a little bit better. I'm gonna build a building farm there started. as well, actually. Building canceled. That makes a bit more sense. See what happens when we get that. And how is our political up? Nothing right now. Thank you, Xenophar, for a gifted sub as well. Ooh, hype train. Very epic. I know it didn't sound like it was very epic from my tone of voice. I, I, I very much think it's very epic. Destination. You can tell because whenever I stutter, it means something's very epic. Proceeding. I think we're just going to be able to outright buy the... Beginning. Uh, the Eclipse as soon as we're... We got the Shipyard on Biss? I mean, Pop Cap, notwithstanding. Thank you, Triton, for five gifted subs, too. Now that is also very epic. Move out. Star Destroyer reporting right. in. these poor units... I'm mostly going to sell the ones that we don't have access to. Or that we do have access to, rather. Because who cares? Uh, this Roche one. Because we're starting to build up more of our own. We have enough of a front line that it's going to be doing okay. Invasion commencing. Now Bimisari is going to be ours. My secret goal for the end of the year that I don't think is going to be particularly reasonable is hitting 50,000 subscribers on loses. Ready. Like right now, we're sitting at 43,827. So yes, we need just over 6,000. Which means I basically need to have Moving to coordinates. not quite the four best months ever, but... Four really good months for subgrowth, and Keep going. it's not impossible. I think I, I think I, I can get there, On my way. and then we'll have some sort of party if I do. Roger. 
some Morgan. sort of long stream party. Like that'd be a definite uh, twelve-hour stream for sure. Maybe longer. I don't know. New coordinates. Yes, sir. Roger that. Form up. Order acknowledged. Roger that. It needs to. Over there. I need to bring those numbers up a little bit from the three hundred a month of the last little while. But. I need to just make good videos or something. The enemy is approaching. Okay, let's get Colas with our ATTE. Ooh, shit. Oh my god. Copy. Oh no. Ready for duty. Run away. Roger that. This way. That's gonna die. Copy. Ready for command. Moving to position. Uh do we have I copy. Right away, sir. I think we can get something Healy on this. Oh, those guys are. We don't. We don't worry about them. Did I lose Colas on this? If not Bimisari itself, and on this map last time too. I don't think I remember using him on this map. Not that I'm saying we're definitely going to lose Polis on this, but can't rule it out. We're gonna try to get everyone in range. We might lose that one. Yeah, we lost that one. They're slowly killing us. Is that an A5? It is an A5. No, don't, 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 don't. don't. Nope. Hey, 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 hey. Okay. Good, good job on that one. Get back here. A bombing run. I copy. I think commencing. We want to kill their artillery with that. Colas. I don't want you dying. We get it. We got it. We get the turret too. Oh, sick. Even better. Bullis, get back there. And we'll get an A5 in here, too. We're basically playing full Greater Maldrude on this battle. And stay relatively full. That bombing run did a lot of work. I think we can get over here. No, you need to stop. And we'll try to get that uh, that turret. Are you going to be able to actually hit? Yeah. Well, I won't. I won't hold that against you. You were close. On my way. Uh, where is Ready. this dude? Where is this dude? Oh, complete misclick. Roger that. Okay, Definitely go back there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Get closer. Reporting yes, in. Commander. What are your orders? At your command. Form up. Proceeding to target. Roger that. I don't want you dying to that. I want you destroying that. And 
I don't want coal is dying to anything. Awaiting okay. orders. Yes, sir. Copy. Copy. Weapon yeah, I think with how much that's going to be hurt, armed. we might be able to get in. You know what? I'll, I'll wait for the next uh, the next round. Next round of shots to come in from that. Once we have this, we can get that next landing zone. And, like, we have to survive getting through that as well as this anti-vehicle turret. There we go. I don't think I like the AACs on him. Okay, let's get those now, and I think he's okay now. Should be able to, to take out the rest of these that we have and not lose anything. Is that another artillery? No, that's just the AACs. Okay, we're just shelling the entire map. Teaching your kids how to play the card game and start a club, a club, the Pokemon card game, start a club with them and their friends. That sounds really sick. I was in, like, the mall in St. Catharines when I was growing up had something kind of similar. I went a few times with my neighbor. It was a lot of fun. I definitely would have loved something more regular like that. Because I only was able to go probably two or three times. Because it's pretty far. That sounds epic. Alright, let's, uh, let's get these new Republic guys. Maybe someday I'll uh, I'll be able to play the Pokemon card game, like the, the Game Boy Color or Advance game on stream. Along with what is apparently the secret Japanese version that we never got. I only learned about a couple streams ago. This, uh, this doesn't quite get us connected to Castle again. We need to take Clatooine for that. But we're closer than we've been in a while. We've at least got Slaheron back. We did lose two of the Swift Assault 5 companies, but that was a pretty stocked up planet. That can be a rough one to attack when you... You don't know what you're in for. Okay, so the pop... is... Close to parity. We should have that Praetor in a second, which is actually going to drop us out of it. I think I'm going to sell Altor. And then I'm going to sneakily use that opportunity to queue up a bunch of pro droids. Before I lose access to them again because it's getting out of hand. But we'll save there. I don't want to end the episode until we've at least got the knowledge on the uh, CSA planets and maybe even invaded one. And we'll check. Uh, we'll check how the building is going on on this and see what this station is looking.
So I'll, I'll try to look at the, uh, the balance of power as well, look at the galactic stats. I'll look at both the official base game one and our chart. I, I think our chart has at least been relatively close to proportional for the for the forces, even if the number of planets has been a complete lie the entire time. And if nothing else, the, the base game one can show us what the New Republic is. But I, I do think Ariadu has outstripped the New Republic. Uh, it's possible these planets in the middle here, like especially Emberlene, will become New Republic targets. Like, Ariadu taking Endor doesn't bode well for that. But how are the rest of them? Tiburin is New Republic. So that's good. We can do the Katana mission. We've... No, we can actually do that now-ish. Magic is New Republic as well. So all of these that are... Is that actually a planet? No. That's just a, a dot on the mini-map. Uh, all the ones that are showing up as gray right now are actually New Republic. Except for the Ma, which is not a factor yet. Here is not a factor for me. I was actually kind of scared at some points on that. It was tall. Building under construction. Is this the established dark? Okay, so that's what that is. That's not the. Okay. We don't want to double build it. This was a bug that existed before in the dev build. It's not. Uh, I don't think it's still there, but we don't want to build this because it didn't lock properly when you went in and it didn't destroy the thing. That's all been fixed now, but you, I don't want to click this button. Construction complete. Palpatine, do you want to Star Destroyer reporting this in. somewhere? I don't know if it like skipped over him into the other one. Construction complete. All right, we should have some of our robe droids. We don't have Palpatine himself, but we have Karnor. So maybe I chose the wrong outcome, but that was not contingent on the... On the box. We reached at least Crimson Empire, which is a darker version of the Empire. Ooh, they're actually attacking this time? They weren't supposed to do that. Six of those... That's nine companies of those tanks. Plus the infiltrators... Which map is this? Hmm. I'm gonna try it. We have a lot of infantry here. Just give me a target. Order acknowledged. Reporting in. Scanning area. Roger that. On the move. Tank brigade ready. Can I, do? I mean, if it didn't work, I'm just giving myself the other unit, so it's it's not a problem. Form up. Moving to that area, sir. Form up. Awaiting orders. Uh, get over right. there. We'll capture as much of this as we Ready. can. Got it. The thing that I am most concerned about is the. Up. Almost there. Is that artillery? I don't think we want that. I think we want you to be an AA turret, probably. I actually want to see if I can get that and make some anti-vehicle turrets. Okay, we have more than enough money. 
Like, they don't have that much infantry. So if we can destroy their infantry, we have at least that advantage. And the infantry that we have can be pretty good against the... Uh, the massive tanks they're gonna have. If they did bring in... the MPTL. Hey, Shadow. I'd like to be able to use the, sh the bikes to kill the the MPTO. I don't think that's gonna work. We're gonna try it. Uh, you can all just go up to that. It's not going to work if they are protecting it. But really, the infantry yes, can Let's try go. to do it. Can I, assist you? I'll copy. I wonder if we can get that turbo laser. Copy. Scousing area. They don't have enough infantry to protect it. Roger. Keep going. I think it's just out of range of the... Uh, of the dropships as well. We'll back you up. Okay, they've actually they've moved away. Over I'm there. taking that. That's mine. This is mine. Don't get trapped. Where's the nearest build pad? That is gonna miss. And is that gonna be in range? No. Doesn't matter. They're missing. Copy. Get an AV turret on there. Reporting. We just need to not kill any of them right now. Advancing. Order, sir. New coordinates. Uh, don't, don't die. Copy. Reporting. No, you don't want that. You want that. If you're not taking cover, you might be able to run away. Okay, you shouldn't get run over if you're not taking cover. But even though we didn't take the landing zone, we got it away from them. And we should be able oh never mind. That still worked out better than I thought it would have. Because they can't land anything else. We just have to kill what's here. You get over there. Um this is best off as a air thingy. They're still going to have the artillery, though. So we kind of need to try to kill this and then let's move in if we can. Where's the MPTL? That's not the MPTL. No enemy bombardments. Everyone spread out. Well, the the AI doesn't need line of sight for basically anything. Yes, Commander. Copy. Let's move They don't play with fog of war. Reporting. Ready. Move into position. Uh, but if I can... Awaiting orders. Heading out. 
get a better sense for where everything is. Better to leave there, but. I copy. Engaging in. We'll cover you. Ready. Can I draw you away so that it's just. Nope, come on. I just don't want the orbital bombardment or the artillery to just annihilate all of our infantry. Because both of them could do it. If we take this, we'll have permanent vision over here ourselves. Because we do need that. E. That's a lot of stuff blowing up. Come on. Come over this way. Come over this way. Look at how look at how much they want to die. Yes, sir. Inputting coordinates. We'll check it out. Will we be able to make it? Hey, it blew up. We might be able to take that from that side. Especially if we can distract them from the other side. Even if most of them if most of them die, that's still a sacrifice, I'm willing. So much for the hopes of getting into the CSA in this episode. Still managed to screw the New Republic out of a planet. <laughs> uh, get you. I think these are the last two. I'll probably build a bunch of ground units here whenever we are able to with the Popcat. So at least this isn't going to drop our pop cap. All right, well, that is going to do it for today's episode. I think we're going to keep going, though, for one more episode on the stream, because I have nowhere I need to be tomorrow. Uh, oh shit. That's not good. Holy shit, that's really not good. Um. But I will handle this next time? Or I'll retreat. I think we'll retreat. Then we'll end the episode. Because they don't have uh they don't have anything to stop us from retreating. There we go. We'll just we'll just leave. We don't need this. This is this is uh this is an unnecessary planet. I could kill some of this though. But I I'm not I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. I need to I need to go in with like full advantage against a thousand pop cap. I'm not I'm not letting this happen this way. We're not losing these units. But either way, as we retreat, thank you for watching, all of you on YouTube. We will be continuing here on Twitch. Next time we'll find out the true secrets of Dark Empire. Whether it's working or not. And then I'll know whether I have to do anything to budget into working for next stream. That's part of why I want to continue. But thanks again. Have a good night, everyone. Bye.